Welcome back to 17 on Set. Joining me this morning is Dr. Ricardo Salas, an oncologist with Adventist Health Bakersfield, here to talk more about breast cancer that uh, can be found in men. Uh, good morning, thanks for joining us. You know, it is October and we've been talking about breast cancer awareness for women, yes. uh, of course, but this is something that I think is important because it can also affect men as well. Absolutely, men are uh, also at risk for, for breast cancer. And, you know, some men, you know, we think, well, we, we, don't, we don't have breasts, right, you know, right. how, how are we at risk? Uh, but even though the anatomy may be different, we're still at risk. Uh, overall, uh, one in uh, maybe eight women will develop breast cancer. In men, their lifetime risk is about one in 800, although so it's still low. very rare, but very rare. there's still that possibility. Absolutely. So uh, for men, you know, it's really important, obviously, if they do have any symptoms um, that are suggestive of breast cancer. And these symptoms could be uh, a mass on the chest, a wall, or near the breast, uh, any redness, erythema, nipple discharge. Obviously, these are very important things to uh, bring up with your primary care provider provider to begin the workup. And the workup is very similar to that of women, including the treatment. Now, a lot of people, of course, all of a sudden are hearing about this because Beyonce's father announced Correct. that, uh, you know, he was diagnosed with breast cancer. So, of course, that has a lot of people kind of, you know, curious about this, of right. course. What are, how is this different from women who were treated for breast cancer? You know, the treatments are the same. I think the, and even the risk factors are very similar for men as well. Again, you know, men, we may think that we're not at risk, but we certainly are, especially mm -hmm. if there's a family history of breast cancer, uh, if there's a genetic um, a component in the family, meaning the BRCA gene that we hear of, uh, it, obesity, uh, tobacco, very similar across both genders, if you will. Mm -hmm. And so the diagnostic workup is the same and the treatment is the same for, for men. So what are some, you, you briefly talked about it, but what should men be looking out for? Especially, you know, I mean, like for me, you know, I'm young, but I know that, you know, breast cancer does run in my family. What, sure. you know, what should I be looking out for? Sure, if, if you have any abnormal mass, any deformity in one breast or the other, if there's any um, nipple discharge, if there is any redness, um, any tenderness, uh, and obviously a palpable mass, these are things that certainly should not be ignored and should be brought up to the attention of their primary care provider immediately. What are some of the things that you see with people here in Kern County who, men who are diagnosed with breast cancer, what are some of the yep. things that you see when they come to you? Absolutely, it's a very good question. You know, it's unfortunate that, um, again, because we think we may not be at risk, we usually present at advanced stage. So maybe stage three. And right now I have at least uh, three patients on my panel uh, that I'm working with. Mm. Um, so that's in just the, kind in of the last three. Yeah, that, that just diagnosed. looks it just looks at the the local uh, statistics here. Right. So it, it, it's just important again to getting checked because if you don't, then you could see the the advanced right. stages of, of breast cancer. Absolutely, and with advanced stages in breast cancer, certainly that uh, the overall survival decreases. Mm -hmm. So we obviously want to catch these early on so we can um, improve those overall survival. Right, so stats. it's just a great message to talk about, especially during Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Absolutely. Sometimes we associate it with just women, but of course this, although men rare, does affect men as well. So Absolutely. Uh, thanks so much for coming in. You're Appreciate very welcome. It. Thank you for having me. We're back with more coming up after this.